King of the Witches, starring Andrew Prime, a totally new kind of movie experience. I'll open this mirror at 1.33, the precise moment in time when the gods are unable to resist my thrust into their domain. Charge! 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 Here is the modern-day story of a witch, a warlock with the black mass. The Witch's Coven, the curses, the terror, the fears. The fears! The fear and rain for her! Simon, son of evil and darkness. You got a chance. Simon, King of the Witches, starring Andrew Prine and Brenda Scott from the Fanfare Corporation. Read it on. The Shango Ceremony. Your death was that of a warrior who died for Shango. African black magic so powerful, the soul of the dead can live again through sacrifice. 
that you've nothing to give you. Sister, nothing to give you. 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 Lord Shango, the shock, the sacrifice, the blood. I got no mind to entertain murderers in my home. It was an accident. My Lord, he called me. There's always a struggle. When a restless soul tries to enter a body not yet born. Mama, it's Remy's baby. Lord Shango, a clash between gospel glory and Shango sacrifice. Sacrifice. I could go back to Shango. I went once before. Shango is death and life. Lord Shango from Bryanston Pictures. Lord Shango, a devil of a movie. This is KMCN, the Media Consortium Radio Network. Tonight, Media Consortium brings you Frank Stormfield with his midnight feature from our Archives of Mystery. While storm clouds gathered over Europe in the years before the war, Hitler's most brilliant and renowned young scientist, Dr. Kirsten Caligula, vanished suddenly from her laboratory in Berlin. World Press received unconfirmed reports that Dr. Caligula, an expert in robot technology, had been dispatched to Calcutta, India on a top secret mission for the Fuhrer himself. Her orders? To interview the world-famed magician and spiritualist Carter the Great at his mountain retreat near Calcutta. There to study his most recent discovery, a rare super substance known as raw zeta. It was rumored among scientists of the time that Carter's substance resembled a highly potent form of hashish, known as cartoon khaki. Other authoritative sources in the Far East reported that raw zeta, when refined electronically and introduced into a human body by Chinese acupuncture techniques, could result in the formation of deadly zeta. In his last public statement, Carter warned that any mortal wired to deadly zeta could be used as a broadcasting catalyst to enslave all humans within the sound of his voice, thus becoming an unwitting tool for the most diabolical forces of evil known to man. Soon afterward, Carter vanished forever while visiting his sister in San Francisco, perhaps a victim of his own prophecy. Seven years later, when Carter was pronounced legally dead, his admirers held a spirit funeral over an empty, black coffin. Oh, the 
with the most of Stomps right through a fire that had roasted. He don't make no bargains. He's way beyond both me and you. Alabama's gold. Alabama's gold. That about winds up our evening, folks. You've been the most wonderful audience. Good night. Hey, Alabama. Yeah. Alabama? Mm. Yeah. Come on, Alabama, wake up. We got work to do. Shake it out. We're closing for hey, vacation. Hey, Turk, I can dig it. I'm just so mellow. Yeah, I fell off into the cat land during that last scene. Yeah, yeah. I think they were smooth like a hundred yellow pussycats dancing on jade. You're going to be dancing on the sidewalk in front of unemployment. You know, hustle this stuff downstairs and pile it real neat. We're going on a two-week vacation. Don't forget to lock the joint up when you leave. Also, don't forget your key. Wow. Man, this sure ain't no way to treat a brother musician. <laughs> Never do this man's donkey work again. Old-fashioned dance band stomping around up there for 40 years. Pulling that slide whistle out of this town to put a tourist so he can grab all the bread and get home to his old lady for a good time. I'm gonna quit this gig. Write my own tunes. Blow these cats back into the dark days. <laughs> Oh, man. That's a long trip through a wall. Find my last will 
Grand Testament. Secrets rest in wisdom, a legacy of song and magic. Now, if you take my gifts of laughter, shared with joy instead of greed, your soul is free forever after, far away from vampires' need. But seek the curse, the dark enchantment. Ambition, then you die alone with me. This stuff must have been here a long time. <laughs> hey, I've got to find out what's in this stash. Uh, this might be worth some real bread. Mm -hmm. Must have been, uh, I'm Connor. Connor the Great. Salito. Well, 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 I think I'm going to take me a little walk across the bay before Turk gets back from his trip.
do you want? It's too early for visitors. Hey, baby, wait a minute. I, I got something you may want. Uh, I got my calling card here. That's my grandmother's. Granny doesn't talk to strangers. I'll give it to her. Now, hey, wait. Suppose I told you I had a message from Carter the Great, huh? Eh. Better come in. I'll see if Granny's awake. She doesn't see well. You know, she's very old. So, you say you have a message from Carter? Come in here, young man. What's your name? Come a little closer so I can see you. Well, Miss Croner, I got a business deal for you. You can call me Granny. And now you all come in here and sit on the edge of the bed so I can see you next uh, to me. Okay. Uh, okay, Granny. <laughs> What's your business deal, Sonny? Come on, spill it. How'd you find out about Carter? Well, uh, it was an accident, really. See, I'm a musician, and uh, I need some money to do my own thing, so I worked part-time as a stage manager for Old Turk over in the city. A musician, huh? Yeah, well, anyway, I was breaking down the show for the holidays, and by accident, I drove my forklift through this phony wall down in the basement, and guess what I found? You found my brother's goods from Calcutta. Oh, so Carter was your brother, eh? <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> well, anyway, seen that stuff down there for all those years, uh, that, that really blew my mind. Well, you can't have it. My brother was the world's greatest magician. And when he died in 1935, all his secrets died with him. It's a very dangerous thing to dig up people's graves, Sonny. Well, now, listen, Granny. I don't want to cause you, uh, Carter's ghost, no harm, but you see, I, I tried on his robes and turban, and they fit. <laughs> I even waved his magic wand. <laughs> it was really groovy. I mean, I really dig magic shows. Well, you can't have it. It belongs to me now. You had just better put back all of Carter's goods exactly where you found them. Or you'll be sorry for the rest of your life. And after. Oh, now, come on, Granny. Stop giving me all this jab. <laughs> Look now, I want to use Carter's goods. And if you don't let me, well, uh, I'm just going to turn this little box over to the fools. Now, a little hash, some cartoon khaki for the Knox. Could have caused you a lot of trouble. And you're going to lose Carter's goods for good. Eh? Well, some real cartoon khaki. Yeah. I haven't had either of that since Carter and I were entertaining the Blue Boys in Paris in 1970. He sniffed. Ah! <laughs> Granny, you do much! <laughs> yeah. Stay alive. I'm not bad. And when I was working, uh, writing my tunes, I kept thinking about the magic shows I used to see when I was a kid. <laughs> I used to do card tricks. And then this thing happened. 
bam, bam, standing there, Carter's magic velvet robe. Me, Alabama, magic king of the cosmos. Do you know who I'm gonna be, Granny? Do you know? Alabama, king of the cosmos, the world's first occult hero. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna tour the rock circuit with my band backing me up. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm gonna blow their minds, yeah, with my magic guy. All I need is Carter's good. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, Granny. Take the goods to Maxie's museum. Sorry. Stay close to him, Zare. We need his body. He's gonna be famous. A big star. People that love him. Wanna follow him all over the world. That's what they used to call me. Yeah, Carter gave me my break in this business, taught me all his secrets, even took me to India with him. But then, you know, something strange happened to him when he died. His body disappeared. He got it. Granny wants you to help Alabama become a magician, Moxie. They're sort of partners now. Granny wants Alabama to carry on the work of Carter to the new generation. And I'm staying close to him to help all I can. Yeah, right on. Hey, this Iron Maiden of Nuremberg would sure look good backed up with a sound system. Yeah, we have stolen them and scared the hell out of them. <laughs> yeah, I'd rattle the cage to make the whole act levitate. <laughs> yeah, then I'd turn all the chicks into a little box somewhere and make them all disappear till they showed up in my motel room later on that night. <laughs> I wouldn't make fun of the Iron Maiden, Kitty. I seen things Carter did in the Ganji prayer temple that it make your skin crawl. Strange things that most magicians never even heard about. <laughs> I was only <laughs> joking, Moxie. <laughs> hey, uh, how long do you think it'll take you to teach me the basics? Uh, I'm open to task with my hands. Well, Kitty, it's all an illusion, you know. But Carter did everything. He had spirit boxes, iron maidens, did levitation, even made an elephant disappear before kings and sultans and emperors all over the globe. Ah, he was no ordinary magician. He was the best. That's why he was Carter the Great, world's wonderful wizard. World's wonderful wizard? <laughs> That's far out. <laughs> now listen, Kitty, this ain't no laughing matter. I'm doing you a big favor teaching you all I know about magic. Now, you just hand over the box you found, like Granny told you, before I lose my patience. Give it to him, Alabama. 
Granny wants it this way. Moxie will make you a great magician, Alabama. You'll be famous all over the world. Well, Kitty, if you work hard, you might be ready for your first illusion in front of a live audience in about six months' time. But you gotta promise me one thing. Never tell anybody these secrets. It's a magician's law. Oh, don't you worry, Moxie. Old Alabama know how to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, Earthquake and the Goons takes pride in presenting a magic show featuring one of our former employees, Alabama, King of the Cosmos. in Calcutta in 1935 and his successor to the throne of world domination, your cosmic host, the magician spirit. Tonight, Carter the Great is alive. His spirit rages in my blood. The famous spirit cabinet used by Carter the Great in his famous seance of similar manifestation. This will be performed before your very eye. Now, my assistant, Miss Zingara, will place a table upon which there will be a tambourine. And now, she will seal the doors. I now feel a well-defined supernatural force in light. I am growing closer to this force. It is somewhere here at this table. Somewhere. Here! Step forward, my son. Here into the light. So we can all see you. Yes, sir. Don't be afraid. What is your name, young man? Domingo Burrito, sir. And your grandfather was a Spanish admiral. Domingo Rodolfo Brito Ilusiente! Uh, I did you know? Killed in a duel with the Duke of Alba. Your grandfather is anxious to contact you, Liza. And you must concentrate with all your energy on the window of the spirit box. I will bring forth a materialized spirit of your grandfather. So 
Santo, Santo, Santo. Open the spirit doors of the dead. Take him all the way. We've uh, got a winner here, Alabama. A real winner. Let's yes, try Mr. Wild. Man. I've uh, been watching your act for a couple of weeks now. Hey, magician man. The rock circuit's ready to expand to grow out into new dimensions. And when I book you on a tour, backed up with a good program in the loading zone, we'll start a new movement, a new vaudeville, a brand new Automax production. You, Otto? Sounds good. What kind of bread are we talking about? I got a lot of gear and a big actor support now. Got all the Carter's tricks and equipment, but I gotta have bread. Lots of bread. Look, babe, don't you worry about the money, hmm? That's my department. Look at what I did for the Washington Triplane, the loading zone. Well, they're both big now. Got lots of bread, lots of broads hanging all over them, and I made them. They're both Automax discoveries. Yeah, they sure did all right. The zone's been up there a long time. Listen, friend. I know this act of yours can make it. Now polish it, get it together, and when I decide it's ready, I'll take it across the country. I can see it all now. Automax presents the King of the Cosmos in a psychedelic spirit show. I'm telling you, Alabama, surrealism's in. Surrealism's where it's at. Surrealism, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
the heights of the Himalayas, from the cloud castles of moon eagles, from the past incarnation of the dark spirit Carter, I call upon unseen forces from Lemuria. Lift up this woman before us. never gives away his secrets, you just have to keep following the tour. And I promise you, by the time this thing is over, you'll all be stoned in the streets, for real. <laughs> We're really moving now, Alabama. They're running after us. Now I've got something really heavy to lay on them. I've made a deal with Jerry Gold. Jerry Gold? That's right. Jerry Gold. The cut is behind Media Consortium. He's all over the world, man. Those media dudes really control this planet. Yeah. He must be some heavy mover. <laughs> Listen, Alabama. This is the hottest deal I've ever made. Now, when the tour's finished, you're going to be televised all over the world by satellite. Yeah? What do I got to do? It's easy, man. You just do Carter's Vanishing Elephant Act out at Galt's Big Rock Festival at Dooncrest on the coast, and then zap! You tell him how it's done. We'll keep the whole world up all night. Nobody's ever done that before, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Just keep hyping up this act. Blow their minds. You know, we only got two more shows before Doomcrest. Thank <laughs> you. 
through Pharaoh's eyes. The young and beautiful maiden, fearless force of a thousand souls. Faithful follower of Karma Four. The chick's been hurt. Get that thing out of here. Structures perfectly. She was supposed to have been behind the mirror, and I said, she, She's all cut up. Something's happening to me. I don't know. I'm getting all spooked. What's going to happen to me? You shut up, Alabama. Now you just listen to me, will you? Just shut up and calm down. Now nothing's going to happen to you. But the girl's all right. She won't talk. She works for me, and I'm booking her into a private sanitarium for rich freaks. Now nobody's going to hear about this, you understand? You sure about that, Otto? Listen. Do you think I'm going to blow the deal with the Jerry Galt Worldwide Special just because some chick got a little cut up? You keep working on that Vanishing Elephant Act, too. You got it down pat like I told you. We pull this deal off. We can bury Carter the Great forever. I told you. But uh, I'm getting spooked. I promised Mott and I wouldn't mess around with Carter's secrets. Now some weird things begin to happen to me. Like sometimes I think Carter's ghost is floating around my head, uh, keeping up. Fish eye on me as an evil fish eye, sending bad vibes down around my act. Look, Alabama, if Carter ever shows up, I'll book him into Miami for the squares, huh? Yeah, whatever you say, man. Whatever you say.
and his magic show. into the fourth dimension. Blood over his eyes. Oh, Lord. 
He's going to be all right. No, it's just a little accident. Probably freaked out in that cage with Pete. Oh, don't you worry. He's going to come out of it. He has got to snap out of it. I've got a lot of bread riding on this act. And if that creep freaks and I blow the deal with the Jerry Gold Worldwide Special, then I'm going to lose that bread. And you're all going to be back in the same ratty crash spot where I found you. Listen to him. Little hard work. Little success. He's calling for his mama. Why don't you sing him a lullaby? You heard me. Sing it. Sing him a bloody lullaby or put clouds in his head. Sing it. Nighty night. I sleep tight. I live must have hit your head in the transposition chamber when you went in after Pete. Pete! Oh, he wasn't in there. That was this horrible thing yawning at me. Why, you must have imagined it. Pete came out the front just as you went in the trap. There was no one in the chamber, Alabama. And you're hallucinating from that bump you got on your forehead when you fell. I'll rub it with some of Granny's herb juice. That'll make it feel better. I'm telling you, Zoe, it was real. A big, wide, screaming heart pumping blood all over the place. Oh, there. Reminds me of the potions my mom used to rub me in when I was a kid. A photo war. An old man split and went up north to Chicago. Got a job fixing now. Jukebox or something like that. Got me and my mom home to take care of ourselves. That's when she moved down into Bayou country. Got a job cooking and fixing for a bunch of weird old cats. I think they were selling a black magic recipe or something like that. <laughs> One of them was named Doc. He the one that got me interested in card tricks and stuff like that. <laughs> Everything was cool until a bunch of rednecks came bashing through the swamp one night shooting up the place. How awful. Was your mother... No, no, she's still alive. They took her with them down to Old Town down near the river. Hey, that's not too far from here. All I know, she's still there. Anyway, I knew I had a destiny, man. Yeah, I knew all this happened so I could strike out on my own. So, I bummed across the country, riding tunes and working here and there, and to find the, the big break come along. <laughs> I always knew I'd make it big. Then when I busted through that wall, <laughs> man, I knew I'd hit it. I even conned the big dude, Otto Max. <laughs> oh. I 
I was on my wounded just since that morning at Granny's. You want me, baby? <laughs> you gotta get me. <laughs> I am the spirit of Carter the Great. <laughs> and I have bled for your salvation. Terrible! Again, I come to warn you, Oliver. Your mortal body lies in danger with this. Woman. Don't believe him, Alabama. He wants to kill me. You get out of here! Islands, black man! Heed my warning before you die on Rose Dark Mountain. Your body meat for vampire stuffing. An instrument in the hands of God. He knows about the deal Otto made with Galt for Doomcrest. Yeah? Will you just tell it? I am afraid to know why it raises ghosts. Yeah. I'm gonna go up there through the big satellite. I'm gonna perform this managing elephant trick, and I'm gonna tell the whole world it's a big shock. Yeah, a big wide raising shock. To keep me from taking off his act. Yeah, to keep me from becoming a big star. Yeah. Your ambition will contaminate the planet at Dune Crest. This is all some freaking dream. Don't worry, ain't no... <laughs> down the street. I'll load this down, Mama. Orange and blue vampires and spook face monsters been rattling all the doors like it's some, like some kind of earthquake. Mama, they've been coming at me from all directions, Mama. Until I got to you. <laughs> there ain't no vampires living here in this town. Well, the only vampires I heard about moved into the city after Prohibition. Ain't nobody lived in this old town but me no more. You seeing things. I'm gonna fix you some tea. It'll make you feel better. Drink this. 
think I'll take you down to see the doctor. It's nothing much, just fatigue. He's never been on tour before. You'll be all right. Why the hell didn't you bring him with you, Max? He's been down in the Bayou country visiting his mother. Honest, Jerry, he hasn't seen her in a long time and he needs the rest. You said you'd deliver him. Jerry, I talked to him myself yesterday on the phone. He's okay, man. 
what he is looking forward to doing your show more than anything he's ever done in his life. A worldwide festival, the biggest ever. He'd never miss that. He's on his way back to the coast now with his mother and a few old friends. If he weasels, Max, if he doesn't keep up his part of the bargain... Jerry, I'm hip. I told him to drive straight through. He'll be here tomorrow so we can go over the act and start setting up the stage. Hey, my production crew's been at the beachside for two weeks now. You're gonna dig it, Jerry. But we'll outdraw them all. It'll be the biggest show of the century. Everybody in the world will be watching. <laughs> and listening, right, Jerry? <laughs> It'll be a lot more than the show of the century, Max. We will control the media for 24 hours through satellite. Do you have any idea what that means? Mr. God's gonna pay you lots of money for giving out the magic elephant secrets on the big TV show? Sure, Mama. Lots. Ooh, yeah. You sure you can make a real live, honest to God, elephant disappear in front of everybody in the whole world? You sure you can do that, Alabama? Sure, Mama. I learned how to from a coach, Moxie. Taught it a great assistant magician. It's easy. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's haunting you. Maybe he don't like you using his secrets, honey. Maybe that's why he's mad at you. Well, he ain't gonna cause me no more harassment. Doctor and fix him for good. Ain't no ghost can mess around with black magic. Besides, I still got my frog skin over my heart. Maybe he got good reason to haunt you, Alabama. There'll be a colossal crowd before Alabama comes on with the elephant packs. Our people will be handing out uh, refreshments, the kind this audience likes. There'll be no cops, just our personal security people, our security people, Max. Sounds a groove, Jerry. But what about my percentage of the gross? I mean, don't you think we should be charging for refreshments? Free. What? <laughs> That's right. Free admission to all who want to come. The ocean site is huge. And I want the world to see an ocean of bodies like a great human tidal wave. Man, a turned on tidal wave. That's out of sight. But I've got to have my bread. Listen, donkey. This deal is much bigger than gate receipts. I want their bodies. Their minds will come later, like sweet days. Didn't you see the fine print of your contract covering your losses at the gate? It's our standard media consortium agreement. You signed it. It's out of your hands. Yes, Sandor, what is it? It is the magician and his crew, Master. They are turning up the driveway now. Alabama, and I've really been waiting for you. Made a hell of a deal with Galt. Looks great, really great. But how's your head? Everything's cool, man. Everything's cool. Hey, I brought my mama and my friend a doctor with me to show them the big city. I want to show them a good time out here on the coast. Man, Max, this is some weird big place, huh? <laughs> there you are. Who's in the cast with the shades? Hey. <laughs> this place is like a fortress. Hey, oh, when am I going to see this cat, uh, Golf? Welcome to Media Hall, Alabama. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. And how is our master magician after a long drive? <laughs> Fine, sir. <laughs> Fine. A little refreshment uh, to christen our joint venture. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Obama. Please, Arthur. A toast to another worldwide media first. The secret of the vanishing elephant trick. Featuring the king of the cosmos, Alabama the greatest. You're going to be very happy with the arrangements Otto and I have made for the show. We're going to have the spectacle of the century prepared for your performance at Dunecrest, Alabama. I've already extended satellite and airtime, so we'll be running all night, cutting into programming all over the planet. Sounds great, Mr. Gore. Yes, indeed. And now I must leave you, as we do all our most important work at night here at the manor, uh, to avoid noise and telephones, you know. I've taken the liberty of moving all your things into the East Wing. Otto and I decided it would be better to keep you here away from crowd pressure, where you'll be more comfortable. Sander, we'll see you to your rooms. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Mr. Gore. Yeah, Alabama. We've got you set up in the quiet part of the manor. Lots of room here for your folks in the whole room. You're at a big place. Night, Baba. Good night, John. Ghost. It's Carter the Great. He come back. Greetings, mortals. I see him. I see him. Did not heed my warnings, Alabama. Now you have conspired with the high priest in his death palace under the sign of the horned moon. You will dishonor the dead spirits of all magicians who have gone before you by this act. Treachery. Now, wait a minute. He ain't been fooling with no devil spirits. You will die in this world which you make of lies and false promises. Mr. Carter, I done cure this boy myself. I done drove the devil spirits out of him with my own hands. And I am here to protect him. I am here to protect him from all this harassment and blood drinking. Right on, Doc. He's a racist. Tell him to go away. Where your music, sound of thunder, crying out from jaws of bats. Caligula here has provided us with an infallible test. A little experiment under laboratory conditions, Max. The monster is an exact replica of Alabama's a magician, my master. An early prototype exists 
today in Disneyland, where an electronic wax dummy of Abraham Lincoln delights school children and their idiot parents. Of course, it is a very crude working model of what we have created here. Lovely, isn't it, Max? Raw Zeta, not to be confused with deadly Zeta. <coughs> is transmitted into the dummy's nostrils and mouth. Thus, all materials and byproducts and energy keep building up inside him. Nothing, absolutely nothing is wasted. It is the most scientifically efficient contamination in history. However, I must warn you that if this experimental dummy is activated with deadly data, it could rise up against us and destroy our secret puzzlehood forever. So you see, Max, raw data, transformed into deadly data, must flow through Alabama's mortal body. We will be able to transmit it electronically through media. Surprise, Max? Well, it's one of our little secrets. It's all in your contract, Max. There's nothing in the contract about killing Alabama. I can't take no more violence. Now, calm down, Max. You're going to be one of us now. Don't be afraid, Max. We rarely resort to violence here. We're much more sensual than that. You're all crazy, Jerry. Please don't do this to me. Please, Jerry! You see, Max, after you're initiated, there's no need for any violence. We've gone to great trouble to bring Alabama's girlfriend here to keep her safe. <laughs> Away from trouble. No, no. Don't let her touch me! <laughs> She's completely within my command, Max. She'll only obey what I say. <laughs> I think she likes you, Max. Disciples, our finest hour is upon us through the unwitting act of a mortal fool called Alabama. The lost secret of supernatural supremacy has been revealed. Working closely with our greatest scientist, Dr. Caligula, I now stand ready to transmit the end product of raw Zeta to every corner of the planet together we have planned the destruction of an entire civilization. A vision so beautiful that hell itself becomes obsolete. When we gather the masses together to cheer the hero we have created for them, under the horned moon at Doomcrest, all eyes 
Christ will sing and dance and look in innocence or magic and vanishing elephants and find it's all a trick to get them there. <laughs> when the masses scream together worldwide for a tribal magic show, like young blood sausages on the sands. All eyes on Alabama. I'll turn the audio theater waves full blast on Alabama's mortal body until he lights up like a beacon, echoing out to all the cosmos until we freeze their souls stone dead. And they are ours. Together we feast upon their sweet young bodies. Floating silently in blood warmed oceans. <laughs> This is my people in my car. This is my public. I don't know what to do. Just leave me alone. Take care of him, Midnight. Keep Alabama quiet. 
while I wrap this robot. Okay, robot. Okay, robot, I'm gonna turn you on. Now, robot. Let's see you do your stuff.
Thank you ever so much for watching another fine late night feature. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. Right, Lightning? Oh, sure, Lightning enjoyed showing it to you, too. <laughs> That's it for me, Joe Bob Briggs, reminding you that the light at the end of the tunnel just may be a muzzle flash. Did you guys hear the one about the team of archaeologists who were excavating in Israel when they came upon a cave? And written on the wall of the cave are the symbols of a woman, a donkey, a shovel, a fish, and a star of David. You don't have to remember that. The writings are determined to be at least 3,000 years old, and the piece of stone is removed and it's brought to the museum, and archaeologists from around the world come to study the ancient symbols, and they hold a huge meeting after months of conferences to discuss the meaning of the markings. And the president of the society points at the first drawing and he says, this looks like a woman, so we can judge that this race was family-oriented and held women in high esteem. You can also tell they were intelligent, as the next symbol resembles a donkey, so they were smart enough to have animals help them till the soil. The next drawing looks like a shovel of some sort, which means they even had tools to help them. Even further proof of their high intelligence is the fish which means that if a famine had hit the earth and the food didn't grow, they would take to the sea for food. And then the last symbol appears to be the Star of David, David which means they were evidently Hebrews. And the audience applauds. But then this little old man stands up in the back of the room and he says, you idiots, Hebrew is read from right to left. It says, holy mackerel, dig the ass on that woman. <laughs> Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. You guys know the difference between an Israeli and an Israelite? A third less calories. <laughs>